It is a sure sign the holidays are near. The Soldiers and Sailors Monument downtown has been transformed as part of a 54-year-old tradition. Our Matt McCutcheon tells us who makes it happen and what's different this year for the Circle of Lights. Yeah, there we go. That's a bright idea. Take a good look. This quick check of the bulbs is the last time these 52 strands will light up until the big unveiling the day after Thanksgiving. Volunteers dash to replace this burned out bulb. It's one of 4,784 lights, and these men and women, there's some of the more than 200 members of the IBEW Local 41 who volunteered their Saturday morning to transform this icon. I've been doing it 39 years. For Mike Hunter, it's a family affair with his son, Sam. It is unbelievable. Um, words can't describe how proud I am of him. Following in his footsteps as an electrician, Sam is marking 10 years with a circle of lights installation, but his involvement started long before that. My earliest memories of coming down here when I was about five or six years old and, uh, you know, kind of just screwed in light bulbs and stuff and helped my dad. Their work is in the electric hub underneath the fountain, which provides power to the lights. This will be the final year for these nearly 20 year old strands. New LED bulbs will be installed next year, but this year is a test run for two of the strands facing north, testing the light's vividness and their weight. All the strands are lifted to the top of the monument where members fasten them to these hooks. No matter the job, everyone here will tell you they get back as much as they give. It's definitely a family tradition. That gives you a really good feeling. Uh, it, makes you, it makes you realize that one person can make a difference and, and giving back to the community is, is important and, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. Roger that. Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Ah, the Circle of Light celebration is Friday, November 25th. Remember, you can watch it live right here on Channel 13. And then before that, be sure to tune in Tuesday, November 22nd for our Indiana's Got Talent special. You'll be able to check out all the acts who auditioned to be a part of the show. And we have more information on that, what the color of the lights mean, and how your child can flip the switch. That's all on WTHR.com.